So class nine, today we are going to start with another chapter, the beggar. As the name indicates, there is the main character who is a beggar, but actually you have wondered and you have seen number of beggars on the roadside. Have you ever thought that they have one or the other kind of life? Have you ever thought, have you have any, do you have any experience of talking to beggar in your entire life? You have talked about beggar. Have you ever talked to beggars? Common appearance they have on the roads, in the streets. So many are come, so many are coming to our houses also. Have you ever thought of talking to them? Have you ever thought anybody, if yes, anybody can raise hand? No, of course not. Not even me. We don't bother to talk to them because earlier begging was just, it, it was just, you can say, um, it was just a reason of not coming up to the expectations of life. And ultimately the person is forced to beg from someone else in order to fulfill the basic needs. But these days, what, what happened? Many hidden stories, they have come out of the box and ultimately we have come to know that of course it has turned out to be a profession for some people who don't want to work hard, who don't want to do any kind of work, then what they are doing? Then what they are doing? They are ultimately begging on the roads. And you know, if you try to be humble with them, they won't digest it. But but are all the five fingers of a hand of the same type? No, not all. It's not like that, that all the beggars of this type. Sometimes, sometimes when you do a good, good to a person, it changes a person. But sometimes when you rebuke a person a lot, when you, you can say, make him realize that what you are doing is absolutely wrong. It is not necessary that you will make him realize in a good way with humble words only. Sometimes you use rebuking words. You use some insulting words also in order to make the person realize, yes, what you are doing is not absolutely right. So at that time, if a person has inner conscience, inner self, he will definitely try to come out of these, you can say that, you can say wrong, that is hidden deep inside him. He will try to be a good person. So in this chapter also, Sarji, who is behaving like a beggar, he actually, he was not a beggar, he was a drunkard. He wanted to drink every day. And for that, he has not any, you can say, money and for that reason he is begging on the roads and you know the daily passerbys from the road they will notice him and one such person who is noticing him daily one day he felt pity of him and thought to give him some money but what happened then he thought that this beggar and he asked the beggar what is what are you actually doing so he has cooked up a story that he is so and so and he is working there and he is doing this and that thing. And later on what has happened, then it made that person reminded that he has seen this person somewhere else. So actually he wanted to know who actually this person is. But the beggar, he hides his identity. After one another, he is making different stories and not to tell that who is he and what he actually wants. The thing is that he actually never wants to work. He never wanted to do any kind of work. So, so Sarji, his eyes, you can say they fell over, you can say this beggar and he asked him that you can come to my house in order to work there. But was beggar really willing to do any kind of work? No, he was not at all willing to do any kind of work there also. What he actually wanted was to 
spend free time and sarji thought that if he would make this person learn you can say reading and writing then he would be able i think that it is not clear okay so you will focus upon this okay he will provide some work to that person then what will happen just a moment please so sarji thought that if he will provide a job to that person maybe he will come out of his this kind of misery maybe he will be able to leave to live or to lead a respectable life he tried of course he tried just out of his goodness but that even won't change that man it means that it is not only sometimes your good acts towards a person that of course makes him a good one then what changed him he of course changed but it was not the goodness of sergi that has changed him then what changed him this is a turn this is a twist in the story okay so now ultimately what we will come to know that there is of course still one goodness in all of us which if awakened by the right by right person can do wonders yes we all have goodness hidden if a person tries to be bad he could never he would never be like that you would definitely try to be good at one or the other point but the thing is that the right spark the right spark okay the right spark is required the right person at the right time can change your mind and this is what happened in this chapter the beggar again very beautiful very heart touching story you will definitely find it really touching at the end when you will come to know that what changed him finally like the last leaf was of course a touching one very touching one not of that level but still it is really a good one so let and you will also come to know that to what extent a beggar can go in order because he is not ready to do any kind of work okay so let us see here let us read in this chapter the beggar okay the last chapter of this you can say tom yes here it is on page number 62 page number 62 the beggar it is also being displayed on your screens so the first one is how it starts what it is what induce the beggar induce mean cause the beggar lashkov yes what was the name of that beggar he is lashkov Lashkov is the beggar. What made the beggar Lashkov to change his ways? So this we are going to read in this chapter. How Lashkov has changed? What has made him change? Of course, it's not the goodness shown by Sarji that has changed him. Then what has changed him? This we are going to read. kind sir have pity turn your attention to a poor hungry man for 3 days i have had nothing to eat i haven't 5 kopeks kopeks means money like we have coins rupees similarly kopeks for a lodging for a lodging means for living i swear it before god for 8 years i was a village school teacher and then i lost my place through intrigues intrigues means a uh, complex plans because of complex situation and i fell a victim to calumny calumny means poor being poor and it is a now year it is a year now since i have had anything to do so this is the you can say general dialogues these are the general dialogues of a beggar in order to beg for alms they would say meri taraf dekhiye भगवान के लिए मुझे एक पैसा दे दीजिए मैंने कुछ नहीं खाया इतने दिनों से आई डोंट हैनी मनी लाइक 
is of course he swears before god and what he is saying for 8 years he said actually he was forced to this you can say profession of begging actually he was of course a very reputed person as he was a village school teacher but then what happened i lost my place to intrigues means because of some complex situation because of the you can say some you can say clever plans of somebody he said i fall a victim to this you can say problem and ultimately i was out of my school and it, one year has been passed he said i don't have any job and for this reason i am forced here to beg the advocate sergi looked at the rag rag means stone fawn colored light color fawn is light camel color fawn colored overcoat of the suppliant suppliant is another synonym of beggar suppliant is beggar suppliant is again beggar so now sergi who was passing nearby he looked at that condition of the man who was begging on the road he was of course wearing a rag light colored coat it was totally torn and his dull drunken eyes at the red spot on the and it seemed to him as if he had seen this man somewhere before now see he is a beggar who is telling himself as a school teacher now what happened just see that his eyes were swollen like that of a drunkard and on either side of the cheek there was a spot of redness means redness means increased flow of blood and then it reminded then sergi recalled oh i have seen this man somewhere else but where sometimes you are your mind is under stress you try to recall you try to recall yes i have seen this man but because of you can stress we are not able to recall it then finally what happens finally when the time passes we recall yes i have seen there so now sarji was also recalling oh my god where i have seen that person where i have seen him i have now had an offer of a position in the province of kaluga this is the name of a place the mendicant went on mendicant means that again beggar okay so another synonym of beggar is mendicant but i haven't the money to get there help me kindly i am ashamed to ask but but i am obliged forced by my circumstances he said so you know you must also have seen these kind of people on the road side they are saying i have i had a big house but because of floods or you can say because of one or the other reason what has happened i lost my house i don't have anything i want to go there with my family please give me some money this is the common thing he has also cooked up a story like this he said actually i have now had an offer now but now i had an offer to join in the province of kaluga there but he said but right now i don't have any money how to go there i need some money to reach there in order to get that job opportunity he said and i really i never wanted to beg but actually but actually what has happened my condition is forcing me to beg so this is the reason why i am begging on the streets now sergi's eyes fell on the man's overshoes one of which was high and the other low and he suddenly remembered something then sergi's eyes they met the sight of his shoes one was high one was low then it reminded sergi something look here it seems to me i met you the other day before yesterday in savodhya street he said yes 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 now i remember i think that i have seen you in savodhya street he said 
but you told me then that you were a student who had been expelled and not a village school teacher do you remember he said but on that day you have told me that you are a college student who has been expelled from the college and you don't have anything and this is the reason why you are begging here and today you are saying that you are a village school teacher now the man fumbled because he was caught red handed he said no 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 that can't be so mumbled the beggar he was taken aback taken aback means he was shocked he was surprised to listen this that this man has caught him i am a village school teacher and if you like i can show you my papers he said no 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 i am a village school teacher now these kind of men they are always prepared with the evidences so that no one can think of them that they are wrong he said of course i can show you my papers have done with lying you called yourself a student and even told me what you had been expelled for don't you remember he said you are lying on that day you have told me that you have been expelled from the school and for what reason you have been expelled you have also told me and today you are saying that you are a school teacher sajib flushed and turned from the ragged creature with an expression of disgust he felt disgusting he moved away so disgusting i can't do anything with you okay so this is all about the starting of the chapter in which lashkov who is actually a beggar who never wanted to do any kind of work and he is behaving like that he is a learned man and was working as a school teacher but actually what profession was he a college student or was he a school teacher what are the reality what is the reality about him no one he was neither a college student and he was even not a school teacher then who he was this is this we are going to read in the next class so now you can ask me your doubts